Hi, Anita Cantrell here. Um, this is a quick uh, demonstration on how to create layers on the Nord Stage 3 by utilizing the A and B panel function um, on the keyboard. So the Nord does have, is divided up into two panels, which basically is two layers of sound. Now on the A panel, on both each panel, you can have an organ, a piano, and a synth. Um, on an A panel and also on the B panel. And you can you switch back and forth between the two panels or you can run them simultaneously. When you are running both panels, whichever panel uh, light is blinking, that panel will be affected by any program changes, volume changes, filter changes, um, so on, we will, we will demonstrate how that works. To turn them on and off, you simply hold one button down and tap the other. Hold down B, tap A to turn it off. Okay, on, off. On my A panel, I have a piano and pad set up. Um, we can also turn the organ on. I don't have the uh, rotor set up, but you can have all three. And we can go over in a separate video on how to create the zones. Like you could have the organ separate in one zone and have piano and pad on the lower part or vice versa. Um, it's really great. So on uh, for this demonstration, we're just going to do piano and pad on panel A. So I have that set up. I, have, I do have a split set up. Um, right here is the split point. Um, the synth is on the lower portion. I don't have it turned up. There we go. Yeah. So there's my pad. So you know, past the split point, there's no synth pad. Um, and then keys are, um, piano is over the whole board. Yep. Okay, so then on panel B, um, what I like to do sometimes is either layer another piano, or um, I will have uh, an electric piano set up. Something like that. There's some really great ones. Let's see, let's find. I like Nefertiri. Yeah, that one's cool. Um, I'm gonna stick with, with this one. It blends pretty good. You can create kind of a digital piano sound by layering this one um, with a grand piano. So let's stick with that, um, and then for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm not going to add another pad to it, but you certainly could. Um, and you could have, you know, a pad and EP up here, piano and pad down here, and, you know, run both uh, simultaneously. You can do, it, you, you can really do a lot with, with using both layers. Um, so for now, we're just going to do the ballad EP here. We could even put it on just the upper split. Um, and we do that by holding down shift and then changing the zone for this um, electric piano to the upper portion of the keyboard. This is everything above the splits. So, yep, it stops right there. So what that would do is if you have a song where you have maybe a bell type lead, you can almost create this sort of bell-like quality. You could even raise this ballad EP up an octave by using the octave shift button. And then you have your piano and pad on A panel, so let's go back to A and turn the pad up. Let's bring it up a bit. It's kind of pretty, yeah, I like that. 
you can change the level, like you can pull the, if you, if you have too much of that bell-like quality in, in the EP, you can pull it back some. You can add a little reverb or delay on that when you're on B, so B is blinking, so if I turn delay on, or any of the effects, it's only going to affect um, panel B. So uh, if I go to A, yeah, it's kind of pretty. I like that. So to save those changes, we're going to hit store once to activate it, store it again to save it. So um, if you want to just have two layers, um, you can take this back down an octave and take the, sh you know, make this over the whole board. So, so now it's just piano and EP layer. So let's say there are times you just want piano, pull the volume down on, on B. Now it's just piano and pad again. So let's say you want to bring that up, bring that back up, bring the piano down. Now there is a way in the morph assign function that you can assign, oops, I accidentally hit that, okay. You can assign the volume controls for these two panels to the mod wheel. And we can go over that, you can uh, have the mod wheel bring one volume up and take the other one down at the same time, which uh, does come in handy um, from time to time. I have used that, and it's really great to be able to do that. So there's a lot of flexibility here. So that is how you utilize the two panels.